Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you the best way to share passwords securely with anyone, whether it be a family member, friend, an employee, or whatever. It's a very simple process. I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is download 1Password. This is a software that works on Mac, Windows, Linux, and even on your iPhone and Android. It's basically an all-in-one platform where you can store all of your passwords, and to access them, all you need to do is remember 1Password. So hence the name 1Password. That's really all you need if you're gonna use a platform like this. And yeah, you could use it for a bunch of different things, like personal personal, business, enterprise, and even as a developer. And going over to their pricing, you guys can see they have four different payment plans. There's the individual, which only costs $3 per month. Then there's the family plan, which is $5 per month. And this allows you to split it between five family members. So yeah, if you guys divide that up, that's a dollar per person per month. They also have other plans for the teams and business. But yeah, if you guys want, you guys can try any of these free for 14 days. We'll leave a link down below for you guys to check them out. But yeah, I think it's highly worth the cost if you just want to make your life a lot easier. You can download it on your phone. And so whenever you're trying to log into something, you don't have to keep on typing it out each time. But yeah, the main differences is gonna be the storage as well as how many users you can have on your plan. But yeah, other than that, they're pretty much all the same. So again, I recommend going with the family plan, but if you don't know anybody else that wants to split it with you, then you can always just go with the individual plan as well. Now to show you guys what the app looks like, this is the screen that you get when you open it up. And from here, you can either enter in your password or you can go ahead and unlock using touch ID. For phone, you can also unlock using face ID. But yeah, I think you only have to enter in this password once every two weeks. I recommend making it pretty long password that only you know. And yeah, just remember that password and then you can access all of your other passwords. So once you log in, it's gonna look something like this. And within it, you have different tabs like the all items. You have your favorites tab. You have the watchtower where you can see the overall password strength and security. And then you also have your vaults. So for this example, I have my private vault. And then I also have a vault for all of my work passwords. You also have other categories like the archive and recently deleted. And obviously I'm not gonna show you guys the vault because then it's gonna share my personal information. But to show you guys an example, you guys would just have to click on new item right here. And then from there, you have a bunch of different options to choose from. For example, you can add a login, you can add a credit card, a password. There's so many different things that you guys can add. Let's say for example, you just wanna add a login. So I'll go ahead and click that. From here, I can title this something. So let's say I wanna name it the login for my YouTube. I can go ahead and enter the username as well as the password. And then I can also add the website so that basically whenever I click on the website, it'll automatically enter in the username and password for me. Down here, I can also click on add more. And so I can add things like security questions, I can add text, a URL, another email, and an address. I can also add notes to this item as well as tags. And then I can also choose which vault that I wanna save it to. As you guys can see right here, the work vault is shared between two people. So it's shared between me and Charlie. So again, this is great for businesses or families that wanna share passwords. And to show you guys an example of what it looks like, I'll go ahead and create another vault right here. Let's just name it test vault. And then now inside of here, let's go ahead and create a fake login. So let's just go ahead and set the username and password to test. From there, I'll go ahead and click save. And then now, I mean, obviously it's gonna tell me weak password. So right here in this left-hand side, you're gonna have all the logins. And then right here, you're gonna see your username and then your password is gonna be blurred out. From there, all you have to do is click on it to copy the password. You can also click right here and then click on reveal in order to show the password. And then if you want, you can go here to share and you can create a link to share it with anyone. You can also go here to edit the password. And then right here, I can also add to my favorites. I can duplicate it. I can archive and delete it. And yeah, this basically works the exact same way for your phone. All you do is just open up the app. And then when you tap on the password, it's gonna go ahead and copy it to your clipboard. So yeah, try it out for yourself. It's super affordable if you split it with friends and family. And I don't recommend saving passwords on something like Google, Safari, or your notes because those can get easily hacked because they're not really secured by anything other than your account. And if you guys found this video helpful, please share it with a friend. You guys can reference this video at any time. And of course, like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business. So yeah, thank you guys so much for your time and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.